So some of the things that we uh, came to believe as a child were never true, but that was the best we could do given our experience and our level of brain development, our level of cognitive, cognitive development. And some of the things that we came to believe as children were never true, but that was the best we could do. That's all we knew. But we still carry those beliefs in us. So what's true is we, as we go through every day, as we become tired, stressed, threatened, uh, we literally become younger. And as we feel safe, rested, supported, physically well, our capacities expand, we get older. You know, we assume that we are what our body looks like. You know, so if I'm 50 years old, I assume I'm a, I'm a 50 year old all the time. Well, wrong, you're not. And we assume we're dealing with other adults maybe all day long, even though sometimes they act like kids. And the fact is, sometimes they are kids. You know? So every human being becomes different ages all day long, depending upon how they're being impacted by their environment. And that's true of our personal narrative. So we can't always trust our personal narrative, because sometimes our narrator, our narrator is a child is speaking to us you know, or teenager or a very young adult and we need to have an adult narrator who can recognize that when that happens and that's what we call critical thinking critical thinking so this is where we talk about the importance of that second step but how well we do in assessing data has to do with both the, the beliefs we have stored in us, but it also has to do with our level of cognitive development. And a critical part of our co cognitive development is developing the capacity for critical thinking. Critical thinking is the ability to be able to step out of ourselves, in this instance, out of a situation, and objectively observe it, unemotionally, without preconditioning. So, Len, I think you're hitting on something that's really important. I want to put a couple exclamation points on it. Uh -huh. First is we need this adult narrator, and that's critical thinking. I think the uh -huh. other point that is important in this is no one comes right out of the gate that way. We, we uh -huh. come out of the gate with these other beliefs that are more rooted in younger stages um, of our lives, often our family of origin, our dynamic between our mother or father or siblings or something going on where we learn to survive and that form those belief statements. Uh, and, and I know we're close on time, but I, wanna, I want you to end kind of with this because I think we will stay there if we don't do the work and name it. You and I talked about the power of naming those things. So can you talk to us a little bit about the first step in shifting from those early beliefs, which we all walk around with, how to acknowledge those, see those, name those, so we can shift into older s stages. Yeah. yeah, so if there's one thing we can do to work on improving our internal communication, it's to ask more questions and give fewer opinions. Uh, what's, what's important is, you know, at any given stage, we either live in what we think we already know and defend it, are we have the capacity and sometimes the courage to live in what we don't know. Mm. To be able to be curious, to ask questions. So anytime I'm, I'm feeling stuck or uncertain or not resolved, that's the time for me to say, all right, what is it that I need to know here that I don't know? What do I need to understand that I don't understand? You know, what does it look like from the other person's perspective? Why are they doing what they're doing? What's causing them to do what they're doing instead of doing what I think they should? What's causing me to act the way I'm acting? You know, what am I feeling? You know, what is going on in my body? What's, what is it telling me about what I need right now? It's, it's to be, when I can start asking questions, when I can step back from whatever the situation is and start observing myself, observing the situation and get compassionately curious, not judgmental, 
Uh, ask, ask what question? Um, what's, what's honestly going on here? Um, what, what could be causing them to, to be responding the way they are? What's going on in my body? What, what am I saying to myself? Whenever I can do that, I, I, I have choice. I have, I have the possibility then of changing the dynamic within myself and between myself and others. What we can name, we have the possibility of changing yeah. or of managing. What we can't name has a life of its own. Critical thinking is moving from unconscious to conscious, from first person to third person. So anytime that I can become conscious in the moment, um, I then have choice. And the way I do that is by asking questions to get to specificity. Because when, when we specifically name something, we know it. There is that aha feeling. Yeah, that's right. It's true. We know it in our whole body.